fire. Okay, we're going good. We're about 15 minutes in now. The one I wouldn't want to be is that area over there that's in the smoke. But I guess that's where they set them, so they're stuck there. You can kind of see them in there off and on. We're about 20 minutes in now. See our wind directions changed a little bit. Now the smoke's swinging a little bit closer to north. And the fire is increasing with the increase in wind. We're about 24 minutes now into the uh, start of the fire. Well, now we're about 25 minutes in. The smoke on this north end is darker and darker, so it's got to be coming into flames pretty quick. Later in the center has come down probably 20 feet or more. Alright, you can see the smoke starting to roll out from underneath the siding right there. It's burning good in there uh, already, but it's all inside yet. And we're about 28 minutes, 27. We're about 28 minutes into the burn right now. You can see the center structures coming down pretty well. And we're starting to burn the second, but the center one. The elevator itself is pretty well halfway down there. This is about one half hour into the burn. We're 28 minutes in now, getting pretty much up into a free burn as you notice that well uh, off and on the smoke has kind of died down so we've got enough heat generated now that we aren't producing as much smoke as what we were. And our fire is back down into the bottom of the building and that debris has finally fallen in there that the alleyway is burning again. But we still have to make the fire up top. We're about 40 minutes in and as you can see the bottom is really starting to go. The top is going and the annex building is doing what they hoped it would but you never know and it's burning from that south end. And Hopefully going to burn just a little at a time and come to the north. This is a stop, this big tower that they don't need to save, but then the, where the garage doors start, that building is still full of warehouse material and that building needs to be saved. Now we're really starting to roll in here. That uh, original elevator is pretty well gone. Uh, we got a little bit of just spacious skin left on it, but as you can see the fire is at the bottom and the top, so we're let's see what we're doing now. There we go. You can see the fires at the top and the bottom, so that structure is pretty well gone. Alright, we're 45 minutes in now. As you can see that center structure is almost completely gone. And that clear is starting to go. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we're starting to get a little bit of debris coming out of the smoke. Uh, it will be spread down with the wind today. I'd say up to two blocks north here, we're going to have debris. I don't know if you can see it, but this big building right here, there is another one just like it on the other end. And it, it's going good now on the end. You can see through the flames every once in a while. So we've actually had the elevator right in the center with two large annexes on each end. It's got a real good burn going right up the middle now. Uh, we're about 55 minutes into the burn. Going a little bit slower than what I thought it would, but we're still we're still going. Uh, this annex building, you can see the roof is going off a lot of it. Well, about a third of it. Well, now we're just about one hour into the burn. Uh, 
it's really going a lot slower than I anticipated. I figured by now this end, it's building here would be about half down. Well, as you can see, they pulled the aerial back. It looks like they pulled it back a little bit too far. And they can't reach all of the They can't reach all the bins now that they're trying to save. So I'm not sure about the outcome of that. But they were right in the smoke where they were before, so now they're back a little bit farther as you can see the different angle on the hose stream going in there at them. And at this point we're an hour and 15 minutes into the burn. There we go, I guess I have it. Okay, the inside walls are starting to collapse, which should pull the outside walls in. We are now an hour and 20 minutes into the burn. And as you can see, that center section, I had to move a little bit here. Uh, the center section is pretty well gone. This annex is going good, but the roof is still not gone to the north end. You might be able to see that south end somewhat collapse, and we've got almost like a little mini tornado going in there from the feet coming up off of it. Side of this wall, trying to keep it from burning, uh, to hold the heat away from the buildings here in the alley. We're not quite an hour and a half in, but as you can see, there must have been a substantial part of that south structure there, because now we can see when the smoke clears, we can see daylight all the way through. So we're looking clear through the what used to be the, the main part of the alley. It's gone, but it looks like a lot of that south structure is already starting to burn good and, and falling in. Where this north structure we pretty much have intact yet, you know, except for the roof. My big thought is still these elevators, uh, silos over here that they're trying to save. And from what I understand, they've pretty much run out of water and called in more departments now. As you can see over there, the hose stream now is just barely reaching that largest silo and they're only able to reach about three-fourths of the way up. So the top portion of that silo that's not being wet down is getting pretty darn hot now and may buckle before we're done. We're about an hour and 40 minutes into the burn now and as you can see things are going sort of as planned. I mean the walls are starting to collapse there on the other end. Let's see if we can zoom into that. Uh, so the walls there are starting to fold in like what is planned. But you can see that the south building there's quite a bit of it was already dropped away. But this is the building that's a big concern with the one here they're saving and the bins back there that they're trying to save. 45 minutes in, and I see that the end of that wall is waving quite a bit. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit to it. As you can see, the whole center's gone. Now we've got two separate fires, we say, going. There's a danger there, the tin flying off and fluttering. That can go oh, 50 to 60 feet out from the building and flutter down. Some of it's just red hot when it comes off. Let's see if we can get zoomed into it. And uh, it makes a real danger to the environment. And it looks like another section of wall here about ready to fall out.
35 minutes into the burn. And it looks like things are pretty well on the ground. Uh, there's my old department. 